Coach, a couple more uh, close wins against Omaha, just kind of not going your way all the way. It's kind of that, that broken record scenario that we've had so close, but not quite close enough. So what do you take away from that series last weekend? Uh, <clears throat> well, we didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't love the way we played on Saturday. I, I, I just didn't think we gave ourselves a, a great chance. I mean, we, we had opportunities or the chances on that on uh, Friday at 27. And I think we had 14 or something like that on Saturday. So that discrepancy says something wasn't quite right. Um, with that being said, we hung in there. Unfortunately, we give up a five on three goal and then a five on four goal, lose two to one. Um, I, what we take away is the same type of stuff, Wads. There's more in us. We could do better. We have to do better. Um, I, I don't like the fact we only drew one penalty. Uh, um, that means our second effort wasn't there. Our intensity wasn't at the level that we've been at before. Um, and, you know, room for growth. That's what we take away. And part of that broken record, again, is the goaltender gave you a chance to play. This time with Logan Eaton getting back in there. Didn't look like he had a whole lot of rust in there. Yeah, no, our, our goaltending has not been an issue for us. Um, yes, the second half of the year, we've pretty much been without Logan most of the time. But Bruno has, has done a nice job. Carter did a nice job when he went in there. Uh, but our goaltending seems to be in a good place. Where we're It's a good time of year for it to be in a good place. And... We think we've got three guys that give us a chance to win, whichever guy we, we decide to go with. Coach, last time out against Western Michigan, um, the juice was there. You, you, the intensity, from my perspective, it seemed like maybe matched it in uh, against North Dakota, maybe matched it a little bit against Denver as far as the level of that intensity, but it was one of the more intense games that I've seen. It was like edge of the seat kind of intensity from the players. What do you? What's the locker room like carrying forward, trying to replicate that this weekend well, against that team? The locker room has been totally fine. Um, the 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 difficult thing is you, we can't simulate what it's going to be like to play at Lawson. I mean, that place is very very difficult to play, and they're really good at home. So we have to find a way to have ourselves right from an intensity standpoint, from an energy standpoint. I hope that just the Western Michigan Miami thing um i don't want to call it a rivalry because we haven't done our part in the last little bit but we're we are mid-american conference foes we played against western michigan for years going back to before i was a player here so um i'm hoping that our guys are looking at this as a you know with four opportunities left to play games guaranteed hopefully that's how we replicate it but I agree with you. I, I mean, I, I'm not. I don't totally remember Friday night's game outside of the score and and the objective sheet. Saturday's game was an intense game. Um, they had eight power plays. We had six. They had 80 attempts on net. We blocked 25 shots or something crazy. So I mean, the, the, I, I'm a, I'm expecting this to be a a good battle. They've got. 15 seniors from what I understand whether that's fourth or fifth year guys um, that they're celebrating on Saturday night that that brings a whole other uh, level of intensity and, and and energy to the game on Saturday but I just think the weekend in general I, I I haven't looked at the standings drew enough to know where they are in terms of home ice or not home ice I do know that they are in the conversation for the national tournament as an at-large. So pairwise rankings are going to be massive to them. Uh, that is something that we have to be ready to, to, to do our part in that game, in the energy, in the, in the compete level, in, in the intensity mindset. Um, I don't see why our guys won't be ready. Um, it, it's, it's, we're running out of opportunities here, running out of time, as I said. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it be a, a very difficult but highly contested weekend of college hockey. Does it help um, with build the confidence, the, the fact that play within the system and you win the game, you get rewarded, you do that against them last time out, and uh, does that help build the confidence going into Yeah, yeah I mean, I don't see how it can hurt, um, but the, the lack of results over the last, like since that game, um, can't help the confidence. So, you know, I think you feel good about the last time you played Western, but there's been a lot of hockey that's gone on since then, and unfortunately it hasn't gone our way, and you know, that's what we're fighting right now with those mental demons of, of confidence and belief and those kind of things where, you know, the, the results say, say otherwise. So we're, we're fighting that. We're going to continue to fight that fight. Yeah, we talked about it uh, before the game Saturday night. Your kind of how to learn to win in, in some of these close games, one goal games. 
And the opponent that you just had this weekend has been ridiculous in, in their one goal games. Just how, how close these games can turn the tide for what, what a whole season is. So now what, what's that message for these, these final, at least guaranteed four final games when you are so close? And yeah, what we, it can do? we can't, we can't teach people how to win. We're, we're going to have to win to learn how to win. And, and, and we haven't done that. We can talk about it. We can show video. We can read this book about winning. I mean, what teaches you how to win is winning. And anyone that says teaching somebody how to win is, is, is the process and going through this and going through, you, you, you find a way to win those games. We found a way to win that game against Western Michigan. I, that I thought was going to be a step forward in terms of momentum, in terms of finding a way to win a one, one game at Colorado college with a minute and a half to go in the game, find a way to win that game. Uh, an overtime game at Duluth, a 1-1 game uh, against St. Cloud at home. You know, I could go on. And th th there's no other way. There, there, you can't teach experience. You can't teach winning. You have to live through it. You have to earn it. Um, the, 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 the reason Omaha is, that wasn't their only two one-goal games of winning this year. They've done a bunch. Well, you know why? Because they've done a bunch. That, that, that's the way it goes. Um, you, you, again, you can't teach somebody how to win. You have to win to learn how to win. And that's my opinion. Um, those, the, the winning teams I've been part of, and, and they were losing teams at one point. Well, you, you, you win games, and then you, and then you momentum, and then you, it baby steps. And it's not you go from five wins to 20 wins. You go from five to 10 to 15 to 20. That's the way it goes. And, and um, again, in my opinion, that's the way it goes. And we're, we're unfortunately, we're, we're fighting a fight right now where we haven't, we've played good hockey, but obviously not good enough to win that play, that period, that segment, whatever it is. Um, so you keep, you, you just, you just keep fighting and you keep moving forward and you keep trying to get better. And then hopefully the next time you're in that situation to close out a game or find a way to win a game, you do it. Hey John, a uh, couple of, Tough losses again this past weekend. It's kind of been a theme all season long. You guys have been so close for, for so many games and, and just can't quite get over that hump. How do you guys stay positive with those situations, knowing that, that you are so close? Um, I guess kind of just take like the good out of it and what, what, what you're doing well and how you can do it more often. I mean, so, I mean it's, and it's not necessarily moral victories, but – is it something that, that you guys try to build on and, and just know, hey, we're, we're right here with these teams, these ranked teams, these nationally ranked teams, and, and we can't compete? Um, yeah, I think, I don't, I, I think we know we, we, we can compete with anyone. So I think we're kind of over that. I think we want to win games, and, uh, the best, and we just need to do that. So. Speaking of knowing that you can beat anyone or play with anyone, you, know, you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, your next opponent, Western Michigan, you, when you had him here. You beat them in one game and uh, are right there with them the other game. So what is that? Uh, what do you use to, to take forward from that previous series, uh, and knowing what it takes to beat these guys to, into this weekend? Yeah, I think uh, last time we played them, we had like some pretty good success in the offensive zone. So I think this week in practice, just uh, focusing on like how, how we beat them. Like I think uh, beating them below the dots and uh, working them down low has worked last time. So I think this time kind of focus on that. Seemed like in the last series against them, um, there was a, a different, I don't know if it's a sense of urgency, if that's the right word, but there was, uh, coach keeps calling it the juice, and, and there was an intense style of play that you guys had. You've had that uh, throughout some of the other series as well, but um, what does it take to, to sort of capture that intensity and, and play with that again this weekend? Uh, I think kind of just like, when you do something that's a momentum builder, kind of build off that. Like last time I remember uh, when we beat them, our penalty kill was really good. So I think that's something like you can build off. I kind of think once you get something that's a momentum booster, you kind of can't, can't let that slip and keep building off it. As far as special teams are concerned, you, you mentioned the penalty kill, which you're also a big part of, of the power play as well. What, how, how do you kind of, I, I guess, does the momentum, not the momentum, but, but does – the energy level out there changed. Do you feel like you're you're playing differently than you do five on five? Are you trying to not necessarily do a little bit more, but knowing that you do have that man advantage, uh, or or you need to kill off that penalty? Does it kind of get the adrenaline going a little bit more? Uh, yeah, I think it does. I think I think no matter what, if you score 
if you don't, I think just that's such a big like shift in the game. Like if you score a power play goal or if you have a really good power play, it's really good momentum for your team. And then same thing on the penalty kill. Like if you have a really good kill and you're being hard on the kill, like it, it can just build so much momentum. So I think those points in the game are so crucial, like for the game. Part of what helps with the, those power plays when in faceoffs, uh, you've kind of shifted back into a, more of a center role um, from from the wing. What uh, what do you like about playing more as a center than than as a wing, or not necessarily more, but what do you like about playing center as opposed to playing wing? Uh, I just feel like I'm more like involved in the play when I'm center. I think I think I do a pretty good job of like anticipating the play. So I I like to get like down low just to help break the puck out and kind of exit the zone so we can get to playing offense. Sophomore year here for you now. So kind of where do you see your game from when you first came in here? Kind of learning the the speed of the game and this level of play. Uh, I think uh, I've done like a pretty good job. I think. I think just like it's always, for me, it's always like my decisions with the puck. I always want to make the best decision I I can I can make when I have the puck on my stick. So I think just improving on that as like time goes on. I think I've done a pretty good job over the last two years doing that. And you had a chance to, to skate with the Philadelphia Flyers in their developmental camp. So what was that like for you? How did that help kind of translate to this next this next phase of your game? Um, I think that was just like a pretty good experience. Just a play with some pretty good players and I think you can see like the talent level I just think the way some of those guys can like think like the game and like how they can transition the puck and how fast you go from defense to offense kind of like is kind of what I like to like work on.